Hi guys, so I'm back with a tutorial. Can you guess what it is? Maybe? Yeah, today is a white tiger. It's pretty much the same if you wanted to do a regular tiger, just don't use white. And I'm sorry about the bad lighting. Today, the past few days have been like really cloudy and rainy, so there just hasn't been a good time to film, so we're just doing it now. And this is what it looks like. And yeah, I hope you like it. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is how I'm going to start off. I already did part of this side just to save time. So you're going to start off with a clean, moisturized, primed face, primed eyelid. And the first thing you're going to want to do is paste your eyebrow down, however you do it, with wax or glue or whatever. I'm going to use a glue stick and just paste it down. Okay, so once you paste it down your eyebrow, I like to cover mine with a white powder when I'm doing white face paint, just because that's an easy way to cover. And I'm using um, Ben Eye Clown White for my white powder. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Kind of creepy. And then you're going to take whatever white face paint you're going to use, if you're going to use cream, foundation, paint, whatever. I'm going to be using Ben Eye Clown White and a sponge and just cover your entire face. Okay, so once we painted our face, I'm going to set it, even though this makeup really dries to a dry finish, but I'm going to attempt to blend over it, even though this is not like the most easy surface to blend over. And I'm going to use, like I said before, Ben Eye Clown White. And for myself, I just, I just pour it in my hand. And I'm just going to use a kabuki brush and lightly dust it all over my face. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, contour just a little bit, just so I know where not to paint. And I'm going to, on this side, if you can tell, I did a slight contour like this, just because that's going to be like the little cheeks, like on top of their mouth. So I'm going to take a synthetic like blending brush, and this is just a Sedona Lace EB13, and a gray cream. I don't have any more gray face paint, but it would have been a lot easier to use that, but whatever. So you're just going to start from the corner of your mouth and go up to about here, like where your cheekbone starts to, where you start to see your cheekbone, if that makes any sense. And you don't want it to be too dark. And then you're going to go up so it looks like this. And then you're going to sort of where you're higher than your natural contour is, you're going to go back and up like that. Sort of creating a sharper cheekbone. And then you're going to um, sort of, we're going to make this into like a rounded, like little um, chin. So you're going to start from where your mouth, end of your mouth, and you're going to go down like this. And stuff does not blend that nicely over this. So if you're going to buy the stuff particularly to do these, I would suggest a gray. I just don't have any more gray face paint. But if you just put the gray face paint on the sponge and just blend it, it works beautifully. Um, the next thing we're going to do is the eye. And... I'm going to use a just it's like sort of like an eyeliner brush. It's a little bit longer. This is a number one. It's a paintbrush and Ben I licorice black. I'm just going to wet it. And for your eye, you're going to want to make the top straighter and the bottom of your eye more round like this side. So you're just going to go straight across the top of your eye like that. And then on the bottom, you're going to come down. I have to look at it here. Like that. And then you're going to leave a lot of black on the bottom. So you're just going to go sort of that way. And then I'm going to make this part right here a little bit more round.
and then just make it black. Okay, so your eye should look like that. And next you're going to take, I'm just using, this is an angled one, and this is a one quarter inch. And it's just like an angled, looks like an angled eyeliner brush. And that gray cream that I used earlier, and if you were wondering, it's Ben Eye Cream Stack Up in gray. And I'm going to start off with gray just because if I mess up, it's easier to fix than the black. And we are going to start, see how this side, it comes to a point right there? Because if you look at the tigers, like they have like this little like point in the corners of their face. And so we're going to start about here and just little strokes all the way. And then the corner, just make them longer. Oh, I was going to dip my brush in water. Hmm. And then we're going to start coming up. And if you use the gray first, you can use a shadow or whatever, but it just helps blend because you don't want too stark of lines. It's supposed to look like supposed to look like fur. And then we're going to do your eyebrow, and it's going to be lower than your natural eyebrow, or my natural eyebrow anyway, and more over to the side. And then we're just going to do some random little um, stripes. Now on their face, they're not that big, so some of them even look a little bit spotted, the stripes, so you don't have to make like stripes, you know, like stripes all the way across your forehead. And the picture that I have of the tiger, they have sort of a weird stripe going across their face. I'm going to make this stripe a little bit like triangular sort of shaped. And then also off of this like stripe right here, we're going to make uh, just a couple of stripes right next to it. So it looks like that. And then we're going to finish our eyebrow. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And then we're going to continue our eyebrow down to where our eye is. Then we're going to make sort of a square shape right here. And don't worry if you do not get the stripes right, like if they're not exactly even on both sides, that's fine. As long as you get them somewhat even because the tiger stripes are not perfect, so you'll be fine. And then, so see how I kind of did like a softer square, not like a rough square. And then I'm going to make the corner of this square longer like we did right here. And then I'm going to do a stripe right here. And I'm just going to go from near your nose and then around. Just a little bit a rounded stripe. then I'm going to go to my chin and we're going to put a little bit right here going this way and then one on our temple that I forgot okay and then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of dab at them so that they're a little bit more blended in Okay, so once your stripes look like this, you're going to take a that same brush you did your eye with and your black. And in very small strokes, you're going to make the fur. And you don't want to make them as thick as I made the gray. You put the gray down as a base just so that you can have less black than you do gray, if that makes any sense. So just add a little bit and if you feel like you need more come back after because it's a lot easier to add more when you're done and then just fill in all the stripes on your face okay so 
this is what we have and I just went over everything with the black and then what I forgot to do earlier was contour my nose but you can do it after it doesn't matter take your gray and your brush and just they have sort of a flat wide nose so going down from your eye down that's gonna be our nose even though it's not really contouring my nose and there it is so you want to make it a little kind of strong next thing you are going to do is your nose. So this is kind of you're going to have to figure out how to do it according to your nose shape. But I am going to start with it on my actual nose but you can do it below if you wanted to. So just take a pink and a brush you can use anything this is just bright pink from a Ben Ice stackable and I'm going to start on the very edge and go all the way around like that so I went all the way to the outside of my nose color in and you want to go down in the middle and up on the sides get it nice and pink I'm going to go a little bit further outside my nose because they kind of have a wide nose. Then I'm going to take a shadow and set that. And I'm just going to use a blush and I'm going to use um, La Femme Rose. shadow brush and then take your black again and starting at my nostril I'm going to start at the bottom corner and go down at an angle like that so it looks like that and we're going to go up we're going to follow where we drew our nose and go and draw a line around it Okay, so once you have this, you're going to shape, shape, you're going to outline the top of your nose as thinly as you can. Okay, so this is what we have. And then you're going to just outline the bottom. Okay, so this is what you have. And don't forget to dab your line while it's wet. And with your nostrils, the point of taking the black into the pink is to make it look like that's where your nostril make your nostril your nostril look like it's part of it so make sure that your black line is as thick as your the bottom of your nostril so 
So it should look like this. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is the mouth. And this can be a little bit tricky. So you have to get the shape right. So first of all, if you didn't if you didn't cover your mouth like I didn't, do that now. Okay, so you're going to start with it like this. You're going to take your black brush and your black paint. And you're going to draw a thin line from the bottom of your nose to all the way down to the inside of your lip. Okay, so it looks like that. And then dab it. And if you're finding it's a little bit hard to blend, just take your sponge, if it's still a little bit damp, and go over it. So that it looks like that. And now, for their mouth, they have sort of a mouth that goes down like this, like straight, and then it comes and curves up like that. So you want to go straight down to an angle, like to the the edge of their lip, and then then go round. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna use my mouth as if it's the tiger's mouth because obviously you don't want to open your mouth, and then the mouth doesn't open. I just think that's weird. So I'm going to go straight down my lip like that. like that and then go past your lip to about there then remember that contour we did earlier we're going to follow the line of that and curve it up and then dab So it looks like that. And I'm going to want it to be a little bit more angled. Right here. So I just thickened up the line and made it a sharper curve. Like that and then do the other side now you're going to want to do the black along the bottom of your lip so it looks like this and now you're gonna keep on with the black and you're gonna go from the, your line and you're gonna kind of round out this edge right here okay so that's what it looks like I did this side, so can you see the difference in the middle? And then just do your other side. Okay, so now that we have our mouth, I'm going to go back to my white, put a little water on it, and a flat brush. This is a three quarter inch, and not too wet. And in this part right here, I'm going to make it extra white. And then I'm just blending it with my finger so that it looks like that can you see how it's a little bit lighter than the rest of your face and I'm doing that because I want that this part of my face to look like it's further out okay so that's our mouth now we are going to do the whisker dots I'm not really sure what they're called they're not the whiskers they're just the dots
And for this, I'm going to use my black and my same brush. And they have sort of angled ones and they kind of go in stripes. So I'm going to start from here and make very light little dots until I'm sure that that's what I want to do. You know, let's see. Okay. And just make very light little dots. So they kind of look like that. And I'm going to do mm, three rows. And as I'm going up, the rows are getting smaller. So they look like that. Maybe one more row. Just a couple of them. And then do the other side. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And I'm not going to draw the whiskers on because it makes it look strange. Now the next step is we're going to shade the mouth some more, or the chin. And I'm going to take my same angle brush and my cream and go from the bottom of the mouth down. Kind of making it look like it's furry. And then going it, bringing it into the little chin thing you have going on. And then we're going to come from the bottom across. So that it looks like that. And then I'm going to shade all of this area right here with my gray eyeshadow and my fluffy brush that I just used for white. Okay, so this is how they look. And I, look, I know they look kind of weird because there's white in between the black and the gray, but now for our last step, we're going to fix our stripes all over our face. So now I'm going to add the stripes underneath my eye. And if you feel like you need stripes somewhere, that you're missing them or your face is too empty somewhere, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to put some right here. Like that. And then I'm going to take these ones and blend them in with the gray down here. Okay, so once you have all your stripes and everything the way you want it, you're done. And this is our finished look. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. See you next time.